Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 26. This video we're going to be taking a look at working with our individual cylinder trims. Our individual cylinder trims will allow us to offset fuel or spark timing in a particular cylinder. If we're taking a look at our main fuel or spark timing tables, they're going to command the main fuel and spark timing across all the cylinders. If we have a cylinder that has a specific problem, maybe a fuel or airflow distribution problem or a knock specific problem, using our individual cylinder correction, we can offset fuel or spark to be able to deal with that particular problem. I'm going to walk you through a few different examples so we can see how to integrate our individual cylinder trims and making sure that we're implementing it properly in our calibration process. Without further wait, let's jump into our video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our individual cylinder trim correction tables within our Max ACU. We're going to find that we have the ability to offset fuel and spark timing into individual cylinders. So if we're having some kind of an airflow distribution problem or some kind of a fuel distribution problem, or we're finding that one cylinder is more knock prone than others, we can go in and offset fuel and spark timing into that particular cylinder so that it can correct the issue that we're having. There's gonna be some specific situations I run through within the end, towards the end of this video, um, once we understand the basics of how our cylinder trims are actually gonna work. It's going to be something that you may or may not have to use on your engine, but we need to understand the importance of how to go and implement these properly. So first thing I want to do is just cover the basics here. Let's jump in under our navigation window and move down here under tuning. Under tuning, we're going to find we have fuel table and ignition angle table. So these two tables here will be the basis of our fuel calculation and our spark timing that we're going to deliver to the engine. Now the key here with these tables is that this is going to be the base or what's delivered to every single cylinder. We're not going to be offsetting anything special for cylinder one or cylinder two or three or four and on and on. Everything is going to be delivered at the same spark timing and the same injector pulse width from our fuel and our spark timing tables. Now, if we have a problem with a particular cylinder, let's assume that let's say cylinder two or cylinder three, for whatever reason, isn't getting the same amount of fuel or getting too much air compared to the other cylinders have a problem because the injector pulse width that we calculate through our main VE table here isn't going to be enough to fix that air or fuel problem within that cylinder. We have to go and take an extra step and that's going to be where we can actually go in and offset some things with an individual cylinder trim adjustment. So again, main fuel table will send the same pulse width to all injectors, all cylinders. Main spark timing table will deliver the same spark timing across all cylinders. Let's go in and take a look at how we can offset fuel and spark timing per cylinder. If we go here under, again, our navigation window, we'll go under fuel. Let's take a look at the fuel thing, fuel side of things first. We're gonna go down here under our cylinder adjustments. Now under cylinder adjustments, this is where we turn on our actual cylinder trim adjustments if we wanna go and adjust things in our different, in different cylinders and we know we have a cylinder with a particular problem. Let's go and look at the different ways we can work with this. We find we have our cylinder adjustments option here. Right now it's to disable, most likely it'll be disabled on your file. Let's go here and turn it into enable fixed values. We have two options, enable tables, enable fixed values. Let's break this down here so we understand what this means. So under enable fixed values, we're gonna find this gives us a one dimensional adjustment across all operation points of our cylinder. We either have a gain value or we have an offset value. And taking a look here at our gain value, output one would be cylinder output one, two would be two, three would be three, four would be four, pretty basic. Now the gain here, will allow us a plus or minus percentage adjustment to the injector pulse width that we're finding here that'll go and correct that any kind of fuel deviations again we might have in that cylinder. Now this would only be used if you're sure that that cylinder had some kind of a flow deviation problem and it affected idle, part throttle, and wide open throttle. The only way to really successfully use a one dimensional value here for fixing some kind of a cylinder trim is if you had a wide band per cylinder. So if it had a wide band fit it on your uh, manifold runner and your exhaust manifold runner, you're able to measure what that wide band reading is going to be. If we're constantly seeing that one cylinder was off, was leaner or richer than the rest, then we can jump in here and use one of these global offset gains. And again, this is going to be a percentage adjustment. So if our pulse width is constantly calculating, let's just say it's constantly moving around, it's always going to vary a little bit, but it'll be taking a look at what this trim is going to be on, let's say cylinder two or three. Let's say one of these had the issue. If we put in something like minus five, it would constantly compare whatever the pulse width calculated here. It'll know what number three when it's firing that injector and it'll take out 5% on that specific injector output. So, this is going to be very, very, very specific, and I don't like to use 
these one dimensional values in our fixed values option. Now we do have down below here, our offset. This is gonna be offsetting. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.